What's up? Dan Blewett here, and today we're going to cover how to turn a 1-6-3 double play. Yeah. Good. Cool. And still shuffle with some urgency, but that was good. Yeah. Well done, sir. This is something that I actually screwed up a little bit early in college before I kind of learned the ropes. And basically there's only a couple things you need to know. So let's go over them real quick. So number one, double plays happen on hard hit ground balls. So as a pitcher, a one, six, three is obviously where you get the ball, you fire the shortstop who then fires to first base. So one, six, three old player is going to happen on medium to hard ground balls. If it's hit softly and you have to range into the grass, your chance of getting a double play is going to be very slim. So you're probably have to go to first base. But if you get a ball on the dirt, so on the mound, whether you have to charge a little bit or right at you, you don't have to move after you make your pitch, then you've got a chance to turn a 1-6-3. Here's the things you need to understand. Rule number one is don't freak out. You have to go through your pre-pitch setup checklist. That's before you make your pitch. When you're off the mound, you say, okay, ball hit back to me. What do I do? Ball hit into the left center gap. Where do I go? But, uh, you know, Bunt to the left side. Do I cover it? Does third baseman cover it? Etc. You go through your pre-pitch checklist. So number one, make sure you know before the pitch what you're going to do. Number two, and this is the biggest teaching point in this video, when you get a hard hit comebacker, that means it's in your glove without you moving pretty quick, you're going to do the following. You're going to get the ball at your center, you're going to take one shuffle, and then fire a laser straight over the bag at second. The shuffle is really important, and this is something that's often overlooked and it's often not taught. The reason we have to have a shuffle on a hard hit comebacker to the pitcher is the following. When you get that ball, you release it, boom, it's right back in your glove. The shortstop hasn't even moved yet. By the time it hits your glove, he's just now realizing that he has to cover second base. So if you just turn around and fire, no one's going to be there, right? So that's why when you get a hard hit comebacker, your first thing is, okay, I'm going to second, set yourself, shuffle, boom, then you throw it. So again, Pitchers freak out when they don't know where the ball is going because they didn't go through it before the pitch. And they also freak out when they get it, they try to go too fast and then they realize no one's at second base. Again, hard at comebacker, bop, I've got it, I turn, I shuffle, I make a hard throw over second base, he'll be there by that time. If it's hit slower, where you've got to range maybe a step or two to come get it, then you don't have to do the shuffle because that extra little bit of time has allowed the shortstop enough time to get to the bag where now you can just fire it. So you have to move off the mound just a little bit, or if you just have to move a little bit on the dirt to go grab that ball, or it just hits soft and you don't have to move, then grab it, turn, and fire. But with most comebackers that are hit hard, you've got to take that extra shuffle before firing a strike right through the middle of second base, okay? That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this tutorial, definitely hit the like button, subscribe, Check out my books, my online courses, and some of my suggested baseball books. Links are all in the description below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.